When it comes to online learning, some classes are more straightforward than others, right? 41 Actions reporter Jordan Bet shows us how PE and music teachers are adapting to the new normal. Some classes can be transformed to go online somewhat easily, but what about PE and music? Well, teachers here in the Metro are having to get creative in how they teach those classes and make sure their students are still learning. It's a little bit like building an airplane while you're flying it. And that's really what we're living right now. For music and physical education teachers, teaching online is new territory. Trying to encourage them to, do, to already to do the things they, they like to do and then maybe give them some more content. PE teacher Kristen Mallory from Southwest Middle School in Lawrence never imagined she would have to do something like this, but she's making things work by starting with weekly Zoom sessions. I had all my sixth graders and I had in my first class, I had 48 of my 50 students. And making her kids get active in any way they want. Oh. Stephen Brew, a music teacher at Raypex, says adjusting to online learning has been difficult. There is no technology that currently exists for you to sing at the same time with another human being on the other side of a computer. Everybody say forte. Ready, go. But he's finding ways to teach. I've created tracks for the kids, YouTube links where they can go and see the music go by and it sings their part. I put up discussion questions each morning uh, that challenges them to experience music today. Because of the virus, he has canceled competitions and concerts, but he has hope for this new normal and being together again. I'm just telling them that I feel for him and, and that I, I know that we're going to come back together sometime, even if it's in June. Even if it's in July, we are going to sing that music we were supposed to do for contest on, on this Saturday. Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.